Hey all, how's it going? This is Rich with Burn Social. We've got another cool video in our printer maintenance series to bring to you today. Hey, so real quickly before we get into the video, I just wanted to give you a preview of our newly updated site. Here you can learn a little bit more about who we are, order gift items and utilities, and chat with us about custom design and prototyping services. You get a 15% off code for subscribing to our email list to stay updated on new developments. Link in the description below. So here's the problem. It's a normal day at work. I just had my coffee and started my CR10 S5 on a job when suddenly this happened. It kept getting louder and louder. You can usually tune out the printers without a problem, but this was too much. So here's the source of our problem. That is my biggest printer, the CR10 S5. I don't really see many of these. Um, out of videos you can see market, so I may make more videos about them. Yeah, but here, check this out. Yeah, we don't like that. <laughs> so this is actually like a really simple problem with a really simple fix, so I'm just going to take two minutes and show you how to do it. Um, you'll be able to do this on basically any printer that you have. Uh, they all function basically the same. Alright, so we're starting in front of the printer. There you go. Down around on the side. Alright, once... All right, there we go, that's better. So here are the wheels, we think this is the cause of the problem. What you notice is that starting here we have a nut above the wheel, and then alternates, and then we have a roller above the wheel. Nut above the wheel. So what those nuts are, they're called eccentric nuts, and then what they do is that they don't actually loosen or tighten the wheel. They put the wheel at a very slight angle um, compared to you know where it's sticking out perpendicular from, and then as you rotate this nut, you're able to rotate the angle of the wheel very slightly. So if you think about it, if you roll it, if you rotate it into the rail, you actually tighten the two wheels. So the squeaking you're hearing is actually just from some of the wheels and the bearing. They're incorrectly tightened and they're brushing up against each other and that's creating the squeak. So first things first, actually go and check to make sure there's no debris lodged in the wheels, bearings, etc. Because um, that could be you know, rubbing up against places you don't want it to and causing that squeak. I did a quick inspection and it doesn't really seem like there is any. So the only thing you have to do to adjust the wheels, take your wrench, find one that fits or get adjustable, put it around here and rotate. And so the really cool thing about eccentric nuts is that since they're not tightening or loosening, um, theoretically you don't actually have, to, it doesn't matter which direction that you go in. Oh, and it's still squeaking. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep moving through and testing the rest of them. I'll get back here in a second. And there you go, it ended up being one of the middle ones. Um, that was a quick easy fix. In total, it took me, you know, a minute. <laughs> max, two minutes max. And now that you've adjusted them, you really want to make sure that you didn't loosen it or tighten anything too much. So first you push down all the corners, make sure we don't have any wiggle. If everything's not wiggling, everything's tight and secure, you're going to push it. If you're feeling too much resistance, in that you really, it's getting stuck at certain points, you have to push through. Um, etc. Uh, your or it's also too loose. Um, the where it kind of just slides your your glides. You're gonna want to go back and tighten everything just a little more. I'll probably make a separate video for that. This is more specifically for people uh, suffering with this noise issue because I wasn't able to find any results the first time I looked for it. All right. So like always, anytime you fix anything, or at least attempt to fix anything, um, you're gonna want to run a test print. Um, we're doing ours right now. It's five of our burn social ear savers that one of you guys ordered. Um, and as you can hear, no more squeaking. Pretty cool. Uh, that was a quick and easy fix. Or definitely click like and follow down below. We'll continue our series of maintenance just like this. But we're trying to publish, you know, every week to keep content consistent. Uh, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, or even what you'd want to see next. Uh, we love taking your suggestions, and I love taking the time to read and reply to your comments. Check us out on social media. And... Check out our, most importantly, check out our website, you know, link below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.